New at 11, a Marion County couple investigated for what officers say they found in that couple's freezer. Florida Fish and Wildlife officers say they found black bear hide and a skull not far from it. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us live with a story you will see only on 6. Nikki, this started as a tip. Yes, it did, Eric. FWC officers made the discovery in a freezer inside a camper in rural Marion County. Initially, the couple who live inside the camper denied any knowledge of a dead bear. But after a simple inspection, officers say they found evidence inside a plastic bag. An anonymous call tipped Florida Fish and Wildlife investigators to the discovery of a dead black bear hidden in a freezer inside an Oklahoma camper. According to this incident report obtained by News 6, before two FWC officers began their inspection, 48-year-old Cody Hawk denied any contact with the bear. We asked Hawk if he had any issue with the bear recently. Hawk stated he had not. We asked if he had a bear at the residence, and he stated he did not. With approval to search Hawk's home, that's when FWC officers found themselves staring at a bear hide stuffed inside this large black plastic bag. We pixelated part of the photos as they are too gruesome to show. This bear skull also found mounted on top of a shed. The July 5th discovery made even more troubling. Vials of methamphetamine and two rounds of ammunition, officers say, were uncovered in the home. Hawk's wife, Tina Holton, who officers questioned, denied knowing how the bear hide wound up in the freezer. The complaint stating the couple had a dead bear in a freezer they were going to make a rug out of. Now, Hawk was arrested on two felony charges for possession of methamphetamine and possession of ammunition by a convicted felon. He's facing a second degree misdemeanor for possession of a dead bear. It is illegal to hunt or kill bears in the state of Florida. We're told the case has been turned over to the state attorney's office for evaluation. Live in the newsroom, Nikki Zizaza getting results. News 6. Nikki, thank you. In